things. Uh, let's talk for a moment about Jet. Jet was, I think, the first African American published magazine. It, I, I can't say for sure that that's the case, but it certainly, if it wasn't the one, it was one of them. And uh, I, I mean, I grew up with Jet. I remember Jet and, and Ebony, for that matter, when they were black and white. So, uh, you know, it's, 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 there's a little twinge when you realize that something that you remember right. from your childhood, that little oddly sized magazine is going away. And, uh, but I guess it's going to be online. And, and what is their plan to charge? Well, they're, char they're going to charge about 20 bucks uh, for an online subscription, which is, in, in, given what you pay for some of these online subscriptions, it's probably legitimate. They have a specialized audience, which is the business model that has worked for, for publications that have tried to, to charge online. Um, they have their readership it averages about 36 years old, so they're appealing on the online forum to a demographic that already likes them. It could actually work online. for them. And, and their online offering is good. And, um, you know, it, it, you can't do everything. And I, I wouldn't, I mean, their, their circulation, their ad numbers are horrible. They've been losing, their circulation was down 17% in the first quarter year over year. Their ad pages were down by 25% year over year. That is not a winning model. They, it, I think it's probably smart to try to save that brand. But sure seems online. like a winning model.